What's going on Fisher Buddies? Welcome back to the channel, Sir Fisher Perdido Key this morning. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, my name is Blaine Roberts. I run Perdido Blaine Outfitters LLC, which is surf fishing guides and kayak fishing guides along the Panhandle. So if you're vacationing in the Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Alabama, or Pensacola, Florida area, you can find all my rates at perditoblaine.com. I'm also running surf fishing lessons and overnight kayak camping trips. I'm uploading videos like these two to three times a week on YouTube and other social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. And today we're gonna attempt to surfish a straight north wind. Let's get it out there. So looking at my crude map of Florida here, we're around here. And then you have Jacksonville area, like up in here, Miami. So this region of Florida is the Gulf of Mexico, meaning that the Gulf is south, obviously north is back here. You get into the Jacksonville, Miami area, this would be east and this is the Atlantic Ocean. So what we're looking for here in the Panhandle is a south wind. A south wind will chop up the water, give it some movement, give it some chop, and you want that chop to stir up bait sand fleas, shrimp, clams, things of that nature. Basically anything that's small enough, light enough that all that current and all that chop will push it around. Smaller bait fish. So the ideal like surf conditions for the Panhandle region would be a south wind. Moving into Jacksonville, Miami area, an east wind. North wind is about the worst you can get. <laughs> As you can see, there is absolutely no movement out there. Oh. Oh, little rod's on. It's my little whitey rod. Got him up close, right there in all this moving water. Oh, he might have got me. He might have got me. Yeah. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit. Are you gonna do anything? I don't know if he's on there or not. We do have some dirty water. I mean, no head shakes whatsoever. Just pulling in dead weight. Come on up. Big old cat. This is your saltwater catfish, guys. You do not want to touch these guys. I don't eat them. Some people will eat them, but they're such a nuisance that I'm not giving them the time of day. But this guy right here will sting you. There's a little spike in there. It's got some poison in it. That thing hits you in the hand and you can kiss 48 hours goodbye of typing or anything like that. They will get you in the tail too. So when I get them unhooked, I just grab my pliers and grab them. Oh, come here. And grab them by that dangerous area and get him on back. Oh, got a little hit. On my whitey rod, I'm trying to deal with that catfish. What do we got? I got him. I might have him. I might have him. I don't know how long he's been on here. This could be a little whiting. I got fresh dead shrimp on here. Single drop. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Come on. Oh buddy. He's fighting now. He is fighting now. Come on up. Little Pompano. Oh my goodness. All right. I am targeting up close. That might be a keeper, guys. That is a keeper. That is a keeper pomp. I'm targeting up close now, right here, all this moving water, right where those breakers are. That's what we're after, guys. The Florida Pompano. He has to be 11 inches to the fork in Florida. This guy will make it. So my thought was to get my three pompano rods right here in this cut, right there where there was no breakers. It looks like deeper water there. In theory, that gives the fish a place to run in and out. But I threw my little whiting setup right there in all that choppy water, right where the sandbar is breaking, the current's breaking over the sandbar. It's pretty shallow there. It's a lot of chop, but I think that movement is my key today. Nice keeper pop. He will be going in the cooler. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go. Uh, 
it hurts me to do it. But I got a lot of food in the fridge right now. Go on back, buddy. All right, he made it. Got a lot of food in the fridge. I don't feel like cleaning fish today. It's cold. <laughs> when I get home, I want to get inside. I am sport fishing today. All right. So we are going to put another rod up close in that moving water. And I'm going to get some fresh dead shrimp on this guy too. To show you what I'm talking about, I have this flat area here. This is where I have all my long rods, so to speak. All these guys are out deep. Then I have my short rod, my, my whiting setup, right here up close in this deeper water right in front of those breakers. So that is going to be the target zone this morning. I'll give it a half an hour here. If nothing produces, I might move east or west. Again, super tough in these conditions to surf fish, guys, but it can be done. You just got to be smart with placing your baits. And when you guys are down here on vacation, a lot of you are staying in these high-rise condos. Oh, another hit. Oh, another big hit here. The one I leapfrogged. That was a big hit. I don't know if he committed. I don't know if he committed. No. Oh. So this is the second rod, guys. I put up close here and all this chop got smashed. Oh man, all right. We are getting lively. That's why I got off, guys. Look at my hook. My hook is compromised when I was trying to pry that catfish off. I didn't even notice it. I was trying prying that catfish off and my hook got all bent up. That just cost me a fish. All right, we're gonna get my last rod down here. At this point, I have them all leapfrogged. Get this guy right in front of the breakers over there. This is definitely where the action is, y'all. That's a big hit. That's a pompano. That's a pompano. Is he still on there? Come on, come on. Oh yeah, he's running in. He's running in. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. That was a pompano hit for sure, guys. I know that rod bent. Oh, oh, yes, yes. The moving water, guys, up close. This is a monster here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On that purple Frisky Fins PB rig. Woo. All right. We're on them. There we go, guys. Number two. We've been out here about a half an hour. Moving rods around. Just staying vigilant of what's going on where that moving water is, where you're getting the bites. On these tough condition days like today, as soon as I got that first pompano over there up close in that moving water, I immediately put two other rods in that same position. On a good condition day where it's a south wind, everything's choppy, I might not necessarily do that. I will still keep my rods kind of scattered because when there's so much moving around out there, they could be anywhere. But it looks like today, up close, right in front of that sandbar, is where they're running. I'm keeping this one. Nice. What I was saying, guys, about the condos, a lot of y'all are staying in these high-rise condos. Those are perfect bird-eye view to be able to scout this beach and find these holes like this. A lot of those condos will have binoculars in them. Oh, I'm on again. Little rods on. Little rods on. Little rod's on. It wasn't much. Is he on there? He was running in on me. This is on the eight foot six ninja dagger. Come here. There you are. There you are. Come on. Whitey, I'll take it. I will take it. That is an either size whiting, guys. I can't finish talking about the condos. So with the binoculars up there on your balcony, you're gonna be able to scout out here Find these inconsistencies. That's what you're really looking for. Why does that area of the water look different? Examine it. So today my target was this flatter water out front. 
in between the two breakers. So I had breakers on my left, breakers on my right. It was flat in the middle. That tells me it's probably deeper there. I want more real estate for my fish to swim. So I'm putting lines in there. But because the water up close to my left looked different, it was something odd about it. It's a lot more choppier. It's moving in different directions. I'm gonna put a line there. I didn't know if it was gonna pay off or not, but it was worth investigating. And the investigation's paying off, y'all. So by using these balconies up there, the binoculars, you can see the layout of this beach, the layout of the structure of the water for miles up there. So you can be successful surf fishing on vacation when the conditions aren't in your favor. You just have to know what to look for. Hiring guys like myself who run surf fishing guides along these beaches is a great way to learn a lot of stuff fast. Most of my clients are coming in from like Saturday to Saturday. They will book me either like that Monday or that Tuesday so they can learn what to look for, learn how we're doing this, and now they have three or four more days to fish their cells. Here in Perdido Key, you can rent surf fishing gear from Lost Key Outdoors, and it's fairly cheap. So really, you can come out here, hire a guy like myself, show you what to do, show you some spots to fish, go rent some equipment from Lost Key Outdoors, and now you're fishing. Then you'll know what to look for also. Again, use those balconies. So now I know what to look for. Then hopefully you can get some fish on the table while on vacation. The thing about being on vacation is you don't know what the weather is gonna do. It could be in your favor or like days like today, it's not. But if you know what to look for, you can have a blast out here on north wind days. There we go, another one on the little rod. Another one on the little rod. Come here. Oh yeah, come on. Another little whiting. He'll go in the cooler too. There we go. There we go. The bite had turned off for a minute. But I will take another whiting. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. There he is. All right, fishing buddies, getting out of here. The bite has turned off. Been out here two hours and 20 minutes. That includes setup and breakdown. Two pompano, about five whiting. I kept the two bigger of the whiting. Um, threw one pompano back, kept one, and then I lost a pompano due to a compromised hook. Very successful day out here with the conditions that I'm dealing with. You can have success out here on these north wind flat days if you know what you're looking for. Use the tools you got, guys. Those balconies are great to find these spots. If you would like to book a guide with me, I would suggest that do it at the beginning of your trip so you can learn some spots, learn some techniques, then you have like three, four days to fish on your own. If you are interested in booking a trip, my website is linked in the description of this video. Get out of here and go clean these fish. Till next time, fishing buddies.